Hello everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel. It's Rachel here from Makers Gonna Learn, your ultimate die cutting community. If you do not know what Makers Gonna Learn is, guys, you are missing out. Please click the link in the description below to see what we are about. If you have a die cutting machine that works with SVG and PNG cut files, like the Cricut Maker, the Cricut Explore Air 2, the Brother Skin and Cut, or the Silhouette Cameo, and many more, you will love Makers Gonna Learn. We have over 1,400 digital cut files, like the ones you'll see today, over 250 fonts like some we are featuring in this video, free printable guides, awesome members only Facebook group, free commercial licensing, and so, so much more. The website is perfect for beginners starting out and so is this video. We are showing you guys some awesome, very easy Cricut projects that are perfect for beginners. Whether we're using fonts, a simple size and cut SVG file, uh, we're going to be using HTV and vinyl mostly today. We're going to bring it back to the basics. We're not going to get into the difficult stuff like um, maybe freezer paper stenciling or print and cut. We're just going to keep it very simple with some vinyl and HTV projects that can be made very quickly and very easily for beginners. So we're going to start with the stuff in the background and then move on to what's on the table. First up is this awesome vinyl sign that was sitting right back here in the background. This is a chalk couture frame. I love frames from chalk couture and they love vinyl. For some reason, all the frames from chalk couture, number one, look amazing. Number two, they're great quality. And number three, they absolutely love vinyl. Vinyl sticks to them like a dream, especially when you use all of our tips and tricks on how to use vinyl properly. I will link all those videos down below for all you newbies who would like to learn and also this is made using two different makers gonna learn fonts like I mentioned we did have over 250 fonts in our library with more fonts and cut files growing every single month and this is two of them we use this and we got inspired on Pinterest with the quote and it says do small things with great love we love the way this turned out this is a great project to challenge beginners to use design space more and to be able to kern those fonts if you don't know what kerning is or how to do it I'll link that video in the description as well we want all of you new guys all of you new uh, die cutting machine owners to really get all of the instructions that you need and makers gonna learn is a great place to instruct all of you guys to teach all of you guys how to do almost everything with your die cutting machine so we love this we just used some awesome army green olive green um, uh, vinyl and it looks great so definitely uh, think about making something like this Another super easy one that we made was taking a simple tote bag from Walmart that was less than $10 and adding some glitter vinyl onto it, some glitter HTV. This is amazing. It looks beautiful. And things like this are super easy to use your easy press on or your household iron. If you're a little bit nervous to use HTV, this is a great one flat, simple projects like we're showing you today, like uh, tote bags, towels, hats, things like that are great to use HTV. TV with. So definitely take this into consideration and go buy you guys some bags at Walmart. I would recommend Walmart because if you guys are just starting out and you're just beginning on your Cricut journey or your die cutting machine journey, you don't want to pour a lot of money into a $20, $30 tote bag and maybe have a little bit of a craft fail. That would make you feel bad. It would make your wallet feel bad. And the point is just go ahead and get some cheaper products to start out with to be, you know, crafting and testing testing and um if you have a craft fail, that's okay because you didn't invest too much money into that tote bag anyways. But that is another great uh, project I did to do. If you guys are a little nervous for HTV, tote bags are super flat and perfect for it. Another really cool vinyl idea for a sign is this one right here. This um, sign is from Michael's Craft Store and we decided not to paint the edge of the chalkboard sign. You definitely could if you wanted to, but we liked the look of it a uh, plain wood. And this is chalkboard as I mentioned, so it is black, uh, but that does not limit you to only put chalkboard on there. We put white vinyl with one of our beautiful cut files that say, oh, how he loves us. And it turned out wonderful. Uh, when you're just beginning with vinyl, Vinyl projects, I do recommend to size up. Make sure that you're uh, making projects that are a little bit larger because we really don't want to do teeny tiny projects first, so right out of the gate. So make sure that if you're just starting out, you do use those larger projects. It's easier to weed large pieces of vinyl than it is teeny tiny pieces of vinyl. So just take some things like that into consideration. But this is another great way to use vinyl for home decor. 
The next HTV project I want to sh uh, share with you guys is these really, really cute towels. Now I will say we used uh, a font and a little dingbat image for these. So we did create this. This is not a cut file. We use Makers Gonna Learn fonts and files to create this. Uh, this one says, at this point my blood type is pumpkin spice. And this one says, um, I would say that name, but we have these all over the studio. And if I say that word, then she'll hear me. I'm gonna say, I'm just not gonna say that word. It says, bake me pumpkin spice and tell me I'm pretty. So that's really cute. We love those. And then we added a little piece of a uh, pumpkin pie there and a little pumpkin there for that. And we use two fonts to create those. And that is a really good beginner project to work with fonts because there's no kerning that you need to do. There's uh, just a little bit of design space work. But the thing is guys, to learn design space, you have to work with it. We have some members, we have some people who are very discouraged who say, I can't do it. I'm not going to do it. And they can't because they won't try and you guys know uh, that practice makes perfect and you're not going to learn anything in design space in that software unless you dig in and you try to learn it and you take it slow so this is a really good project to start learning how to use those fonts and using like the uh you know the align tool and letter spacing tool and things like that so that's a great one to learn and then you're also incorporating not one but two colors of htv and you're also um using those fonts and things like that so that's a really fun thing to try and learn with that video as well we do have a live stream making these so i will link that in the description below because that's a really fun video too and Next up, guys, is a really cute little vinyl, uh, like trinket dish, and it says "Happy Camper," and we use a little camper uh, cut file that we have. Now, this one is really fun and really great for beginners because it uses two different colors of vinyl. So, of course, you're gonna want to rub it with alcohol. If you watch any of our uh, vinyl videos that we talk about, you know, using vinyl properly, you will hear us preach about using alcohol to wipe everything down, and then you'll add your two different colors of vinyl. This is a great project to be able to practice aligning things correctly because you will have to align happy camper and then align your little camper decal in the middle of the words. And you're going to have to make sure it's lined up in the middle of the plate and things like that. So that is a great way to be able to practice that with smaller projects because if you're just starting out, I know a lot of that stress can come from hoping that your images are in the middle of your frame or in the middle of your mug or anything like that. So definitely practicing on smaller projects like that will take out some of that worry for you. And moving right along, you guys would not think to do this. You would not think it's easy, but I promise it is easy. If you guys want to start out uh, doing a heat transfer vinyl project, an iron-on project, and you wanna to try to do that easily, try to um, iron on these little gift bags. So you can get these in like a pack of three at the Dollar Tree. There's some at Walmart. You can get larger ones. You can get smaller ones. Either way, you can use any of our cut files or fonts to create an image or create a phrase or a quote or anything like that. And you can iron on this bag. It's a flat surface. It's super easy to iron on. It's not as intimidating as like a hoodie would be or anything like that if you're just starting out. So definitely take that into consideration. And then you can make your own gift bags and they look beautiful. And then guys, don't forget we have a couple of examples here. We have a mug over here and then we have a little plastic tumbler over here. We have lots of monogram files and Makers Gonna Learn More added all the time. We have new font and new um, cut file collections every single month and this is our heart monogram and this is a great one to put on something like this to you know accentuate your monogram, to show it off and to get those vinyl skills going because it is a little tricky to apply vinyl to a tumbler. We have a video all about it. I will link it in the description below as I will all the videos that could help you guys but it is a little tricky uh, and that's what you want to do you want to practice with it so this cup is from the dollar store you could buy it from five below walmart should have some cheap ones but again use this um use cheaper products on uh the projects that you are testing but guys it's a great hack it's so easy to remove vinyl if you do this and you mess it up and it's sideways you won't be able to save the vinyl but you'll be able to save your blank here you'll be able to save your tumbler so you can just get your cricut tool or your pen pen tool and just remove that vinyl, toss it away and try again. So there is no need to worry if you're putting it on something like this because you can get the vinyl off. Same goes for ceramic mugs. This one was plastic, that one is ceramic. Same rules apply. You can absolutely 
uh, place it and remove it as much as you want to to get it right. You won't be able to save the vinyl, but you can save the mug. But both of them are beautiful ways to use vinyl on mugs, whether it's a um, monogram or it's a symbol decal that we have. Either way, it's going to be beautiful. Another way that we love to use vinyl on things like mugs is on mason jars. We love mason jars, especially like these mason jars that are flat all the way around. And it kind of, it's kind of like it has four sides. It's not like it's perfectly round. It kind of, it kind of has some, uh, some flatness to each side. So these are great for using vinyl on uh, the decal that we have on there today is a little bit smaller, but it says death by candy corn. And this is a great way to take a very simple Cricut project and turn it into a big, beautiful craft project. So uh, what I mean by that is the Cricut element in this is very simple. You just place some vinyl on your um, jar here. The other craft elements is what make this look super professional, which is fill, filling it with candy corn, painting the lid and adding this raffia. So it really takes the project from good to great when you add those other crafty elements. So another project we've done that with is right here. This is a beautiful Christmas shadow box that we created uh, a couple of weeks ago and we made a video for for you guys. I'll link in the description. But this is a gorgeous one because all the Cricut element is, is some vinyl on this shadow box. What you guys have done is you've added pattern paper to the back, you've added some faux snow in there, and really taken this project to the next level and put, like, brought it to life, really. So you don't have to be nervous that you're gonna have a Cricut fail or anything like that. If you mess up, peel that vinyl up just like you would do on a cup or a mug and try again, do it again. And then after that, after you're done Cricuting, do a little bit of general crafting. Add some uh, snow in there, add some pattern paper in there, and make this project great because we totally know that you can. I love to use fonts. It's no secret. You guys know that fonts are my favorite. I love the freedom that you have with fonts, but fonts can be a little bit scary, you know, having to current it and things like that. So it's very good to start with a name. Just start with a name. So right here we have an example. This is a little, I don't know if you guys call this a cap. Uh, all growing up, we always called these toboggans. So whatever you call this, a hat, a beanie, a toboggan, whatever you guys call this, these are very cheap toboggans. I got this one on Amazon, but you can get these on, um, uh, well, Amazon's probably the easiest, but you can go to Walmart and get these. Five Below has these. Sometimes Dollar General has these uh, closer to the winter season. Go ahead, use HTV on this. Don't be afraid and use some fonts. Use some cursive fonts so you can practice kerning and getting that all right as well. So this is a beautiful project and it's very simple, but fonts can take that project from good to great because you add a lot of personality and customization whenever you use fonts in projects. Now, another thing that we did when we use this, where we use our fonts and then some dingbats, which are just like one image SVG files, is you can use koozies. That's another way to easily uh, incorporate uh, fonts and dingbats in these. Well, you don't have to do them two separate colors or anything, but you can use koozies. It's a great way to begin your dive into easy pressing. Uh, if you're a little bit scared of doing larger easy press projects, uh, little koozies are great and they're relatively cheap. Definitely look on Amazon for like multicolor packs. I'll link some in the description below because they are really handy to keep around. If you have a fail, toss it. It didn't cost that much. So we used um, a font for our number seven and we used our dingbat of our baseball and we put them together and we used our align tool in design space to make sure that they were uh, right even with each other and aligned the right way. So that's another great way to learn those fundamental easy press uh, tutorials and things like that just by going in and practicing uh, with smaller projects just like that. Another really easy way to create some uh, personalized maybe Christmas gifts or home decor is to take things that are already created and slap vinyl on it. Now, here at Makers Gonna Learn, we don't condone slapping vinyl on something often because we really love you guys to expand your creative horizons and to get a little bit more crafty by adding some more elements in it. Uh, but in this particular case, if you're just starting out and you're wanting an easy win for a project, uh, we went and got a vanilla scented candle from Walmart, took the label off, it was an easy peel label, and we added 
Joyful Mary and Blessed on there for Christmas in some red uh, vinyl. And then we added a little uh, buffalo plaid bow, which is really, really cute for the holidays. So if you guys are wanting a quick win, a good, easy project, you can make a whole set of these if you want to. We have one in particular. We have one that's white, one that's green, and one that's red for Christmas. And they all have different cut files on there. And you can give these as gifts. These make great gifts for coworkers and things like that because they're easy and quick to create. So think about that too when you're maybe having a brain fart or a craft fart and you don't know what else to make that is a great one just to have an easy win maybe to open up that crafty um, space in your brain to get your you know your crafty wheels turning and get uh, some inspiration going another one that we love don't be scared another one that we love are pillows okay you don't have to do uh, the uh, multi-layer pillows just yet if you don't want to but we added a little um, foil iron on to give that little paw I don't know if you can see it in the camera yeah to give that little paw some added a uh, dimension and personality but these pillows we get from Hobby Lobby they're canvas pillow cases so it only comes with the case which is so much easier guys let me tell you what you do I will link some videos in the description below on how to iron on uh, some pillows like this but it comes with the case so it's flat okay and then you can get all the wrinkles out of it iron onto it and then when you're done ironing onto it you can fill it with stuffing from a cheap pillow from Walmart or anything like that. So don't be scared to do pillows like this because you can always start out by doing it on pillow cases. But we also have some videos for how to iron on pre-stuffed pillows because a lot of times we'll go to Walmart, we'll find some pillows that we really love and then realize they're pre-stuffed and there's no zipper to be able to remove it to iron on. But have no fear guys because we have ironed on a ton of pre-stuffed pillows and it's a lot easier than you might think. But guys, I loved going through all of these awesome craft projects with you that are amazingly perfect for beginners. I hope that you all are enjoying the beginning of your crafting journey. Don't forget to click the very first link in the description below to see everything we have to offer at Makers Gonna Learn. If you enjoy videos like you see on our channel today, that is a guarantee that you will absolutely adore the membership and all that we have to offer. Our entire goal is to get you guys to know everything about your machine, to create everything that you you want to create for your machine and to be confident in doing it and that's what we're here to do is to train you guys and lift you guys up we're just one big community over there and we hope that you become a part of it if you are not already i hope that you enjoyed this video guys let me know in the comments below if you have any questions and let me know your favorite a project that you are going to tackle maybe it's your first project that you're ever going to make definitely let us know uh, give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and ring that bell to get notified when more of these videos come out for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it guys. I had a blast making it. As always, stay crafty. Bye!